Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. This is the install guide for the Omnirom on the Verizon Galaxy S4. This will also work on any other variant. You want to make sure that you grab the correct download that is corresponding to your variant. So what you'll need is the latest Omnirom Nightly and you'll need the latest PAG apps 4.4.2. I'll be sure to include links to those in the description. Once you have those files downloaded to your device, you'll want to boot into recovery. Of course, you'll need your bootloader unlocked, a custom recovery like TeamWind Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. You'll need to be rooted, so we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. And this ROM installs pretty much just about like any other ROM. If you are familiar with installing ROMs, then you should be pretty familiar with the process of installing the Omni ROM. Now it should be noted that on the Verizon Galaxy S4 you will have to be Loki hacked to install this ROM because this is an AOSP ROM. Uh, so far if you're just rooted with SafeStrap the only thing that you'll be able to run on the Verizon S4 is a TouchWiz based ROM. This is not a TouchWiz based ROM, this is an AOSP ROM or an Android open source project ROM. So the first thing you want to do here is back up and you'll swipe to back up. Once you're finished backing up the device you can wipe your data. Uh, just a quick word on the backup. This is a Nandroid backup, so this will back up everything on your device. So it'll back up all your applications, all your app data, so any saved games or any files that are saved at all, notes that you may have taken, any text messages that you have saved on your device will be saved in the Nandroid, any phone call history will be saved. All your important information will be saved on that Nandroid. It's always good to have an Android backup in case something goes wrong during the flash. And it's also a good idea to have an Android backup in case for some reason you just don't like that ROM and you want to return to the previous ROM. Then of course if you have three or four different ROMs that are backed up you can flash between them which is always nice. So we'll go ahead and wipe Data Cache and Dalvik. Okay when that's finished you'll see successful. We'll go back and back again we'll install and we'll go to the download folder. If we've downloaded this directly to the phone then it should be in the download folder under the SD card. Okay we're looking for Omni 4.4.2 and this is the June 1st build. Make sure that that is what you're flashing. You can choose to add more zips and we're looking for that PA G apps for the KitKat and we'll go with the uh, 4.4.2 May 31st and swipe to flash. So this is going to flash both files. It'll flash the ROM first and then the G apps. So give this about five to ten minutes to flash. When it's finished you'll see the successful and you can reboot from there. Okay so once you see this successful you will go ahead and reboot the system. You should be presented with the new OmniROM boot animation. And there you have it. So guys, that was just a quick install guide for the Omni-ROM on the Galaxy S4. So guys, that about wraps it up for this quick install guide on the Omni-ROM. I will have a full review of this ROM in the near future, probably in the coming weeks. So you want to be sure that you are subscribed for that. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidbunnerx.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.